Hello everyone, welcome back on the stream of my channel guys. I'm Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. This video is going to be a very important for a game developer. Like if you are a VR developer or you are a game developer. So it is going to play a very important role. Your title is that how to avoid post processing in URP. Like if you have done the post processing, like here you can see I have done the post processing abbreviary is post processing it is that there are some objects some ui or some particle effect there you don't want the post processing effect so how you can do what you can do in this video we are going to talk about so if you are new on the channel make sure to subscribe the channel if you want to support me so please join here if you want to support me on patreon so become the patreon if you want to grab any sample so you can just grab any sample from my patreon page so let's start the today video if you want to check out me so check out me on my linkedin profile so here you can see that we have done all the setup of post processing and why we need to avoid the post processing on some objects or some game objects so there are many reasons first thing that uh, let's suppose in the ui so if you are working in the vr so on the ui when you apply the post processing so it, it does not uh, look a uh, proper way it just show us uh, lots of flicker uh, and the text look uh, blurry so what we can do you have to apply this thing and in some cases if you have created vfx or any particle system so particle effect on those objects does not look properly so in this video we will learn that how you can avoid and this is the urp pipeline in the standard pipeline they have already given that you have to just set up the layer and it was just working on that particular layer but in the urp they have not done that thing so you have to play a very uh, cunningly so that you can create that effect for this what you have to do so here you can see i have created post processing effect so everywhere means on the this cube as well as on this canvas everywhere it is getting our post processing effect what we don't want on this object as well as on this object so if we want to do so we have to follow like the standard we have to create the layer so here you can see add layer and here we have to give no post processing this is the layer and we are going to utilize so here you have to go on the layer choose the no yes on the children as well as on which object you want to do so here you can see this is the object so just do the no post processing here is another queue so we don't want here also so what we have to do we have to just do the no post processing so here you can see it is getting disappear why it is getting disappear it will show here but why it is getting disappear because on the camera on the culling marks we have not choose the no process if we are doing to choose so it will show but we don't want so just don't do it okay so here you can see i have just avoid in culling marks i have not selected this one what we have to do now this is the main thing so you have to just go on the camera and take another cam on the another camera here you can see post processing effect have been gone i turn off and if i turn off this camera uh, sorry if i turn off the global volume so we will see this so this is the original original stuff but after the post processing it is looking like this so here is the camera and why it is looking normal and here you can see text is also looking great you can just analyze it you can just analyze it okay so you can analyze it that our text is looking great it is also looking great so on some particular object that uh, if you are avoiding the post processing so that will look better so this is the another camera and this is the render type so this is the base but we don't want waste we want overlay so just choose the overlay now you can see that we are able to see basically how it works basically from the main camera it goes on the camera and on the basis of that it works okay and here what we have to do so here you can see we are not able to see the cube so because you have to choose the everything we are able to see everything so we don't want we want to just avoid everything we have to choose no post processing now i have choose the no post process still we are not able to see so what we have to do on the main camera in the urp they have given on the camera whenever you will go so make sure to see the post processing this should be the enable so it is enable and here is the stack so if you have done the overlay so on here on the stack 
you can just choose that camera so here you can see i have just choose and on this object as well as on this object the post processing is not getting applied you can just imagine that like like last time how it was working it was looking different but now it is looking different so there is no any post processing is getting apply on this so hope you understand it will render only these two things and other thing will be not rendered so you have to choose this and on the main camera you have to pass the first camera and make sure first camera is on overlay okay and here you have to just not choose the nose post processing so people will ask that it is expensive performance wise so it will expensive not that much very uh, minimal so you can say that if you are you can say that your shit pause calls will be increased two to three so that is not big difference but yeah it will improve your scene because it will not uh, because some in some places if you are just performing the post processing so that just ruined the the ruined the scene means how it's looking so that's it and if you are uh, feeling that it is an important tutorial so please like the video and please support me on my patreon page or you can just join here so thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video bye bye take care